Okay, guys, this is our first lesson in the heat energy transfer topic on conduction. Let's get started. You'll need something to write with, something to write on, and you'll need your attention span. Make sure you're focused on what we're doing today. When you're using this lesson, pause it, answer all the questions and check your answers. So as each slide comes up, give it a pause and have a go. And when you're having a look at questions at the end, remember you can rewind and rewatch the explanations as many or as little times as you need. Let's get going. So I want us to start by thinking about having a frying pan on a hot hob. So we've got lots of thermal energy there, that's the fire, and the frying pan over it, and the handle coming out they'd use. Now if you go and grab the handle, especially if it's a metal handle, you'll find it's really hot. So it'd hurt if you grab it, you have to really carefully use a tea towel. So how is it that that heat is getting from the frying pan and transferred across to the handle. Well, we can zoom in and look at what's going on to the particles in that material to see how the heat is being transferred through it. So if we have this as our zoomed in snapshot, and I'll draw these in as our particles. Okay, so we have that thermal energy store from the hob being transferred into the particles and it gets transferred into the kinetic store in the particles. So the kinetic store means that these are going to move and vibrate from side to side. So it's in the kinetic store. So the particles in the part of this handle that's getting that thermal energy, they're getting heated and they're going to vibrate more and that movement is going to cause them to bump into the particles next to them. So they collide. And it's that collision of the particles that transfers the kinetic energy across so the other particles start moving. And that continues all the way down the object. That collision, that bumping, that transfer of the energy. And it'll go all the way until it reaches the other side. And that's clearly a person's hand that is being transferred to. And that kinetic energy that's been transferred all the way down then gets transferred into the thermal store of the surroundings or anything touching the object like a hand. Now we call this process conduction. Okay, so conduction is the transfer of thermal energy by the vibration of particles. Okay. And our steps for conduction, firstly, the energy transferred to the kinetic store of particles so in our example that was the hot hob causing the particles in the pan to move the particles from the hot object collide 
and collide, just meaning bump into. Particles from cold object. And that causes the energy to be transferred. Okay, here are the key points you need to have written down. Pause it, make sure you've got that down. Okay, now give your chance, yourself a chance to self-test and embed that knowledge. Look through it, say in the head, cover, say through and head again, write and check. We'll get someone else in the house to give you a quiz on it. Okay, let's have a look at these independent practice questions. Pause it, answer the questions, and the answers will come up next. Okay, here's your answers. Hopefully you've got those. If you weren't sure on any of them, remember you can rewind and have a look at that explanation again. But if you're happy with that and you've got all of those, then that's everything for today. Well done, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.